Oi, let me remove this here. Well, I'm back, but I'm not sure my people are back. It's like I lost my crowd. <laughs> it's like I lost my crowd. I'm sorry. Oh, that is not good, huh? Well, those are the kind of things that happen. Technology is good, but sometimes technology can really disappoint you. Now, technology is disappointing me today. I'm so sorry for what happened, you know? <laughs> We have so many people in this my house. <laughs> I guess everybody is using the internet. <laughs> Maybe they are all watching us. And guess what? I lost, you know, my internet signal is not so strong. I am so sorry. Can I get, I don't know if I could get everybody to come back. Can somebody write things for everybody and call them to come back? That Pastor Sunday is back on. Please come back. <laughs> Let's try to get you people back on. Uh, okay, Nana from Finland, blessings, thank you for coming back. Uh, Davis from New York, thank you for being here. Ashish, hello. Kenneth, hello, you are back. Rita, you are back. Grace, thank you for coming back. Alisa, thank you. Tanisha, nice to see you. Okay, are we getting every other person back? Shijuade, we have, okay, close to 100 people already. Shijua Day is back. Uh, Pad, uh, Mel Pado from Houston, Texas. Thank you for coming back. Alisa is back, yes. And uh, we have Emmanuel also is back. Omole is back. <laughs> I'm getting my crowd back. Sandra is back. <laughs> Sandra says, hello. Hope you, are, uh, you, uh, you have a very blessed day. I wish I could meet you and your family one day. Why not? Rachel never dreamt of that, and she got it. So take less of you when you dream of it. You get it as well. Justice is back. Mashu is back. Bukola is back. Kelvin is back. Fonge is back. Steve is back from Tanzania. Christy from Los Angeles. Uh, Bukola from Birmingham. Uh, Andrew John is back. Niji is back. Ashi Scales is back. Haruna Abraham is back. Taku is back. Alida is back. A.K. Gossman is back. David Bako is back from Port Harcourt. Per Hellenius is back. Josh is back. Adewumi is back. Yetunde, my dear. Yetunde Omoy Limit is back. Tade is back. Karin from London, Manchester is back. John Eleona is here with us. Ali is here with us. Sandra Bell is here with us. Justice is here with us. Femi is here with us. Uh, Emmanuel is here with us. Charles is here with us. Chris is here. Mayaki is here. Uh, Jeanette is here. Wow, we have a full house already. So don't worry about it. Don't be discouraged, Ireti. Ireti, you are just on fire. You told us, I'm sure people still remember how you came to see, to, 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 how you decided because of your passion for Nigeria to come and see me. And and so what, let's start again with that. Your first visit, uh, you said every, your friends and everybody started, you know, calling you while you are still here. Is it real? Is that part of a fake or real? What you read in church shift and everything you've been hearing are they real? Or yes. Are they for real? Yes. So that's where you pick it up. Okay. So what did you? What was your first visit like? What oh, was your exper experience the, the, the like? The first visit was when no, I, it's had, louder. I had the chance to see. I had the chance for, to see yeah. everybody. I mean, I mean, not every. I mean, I had the chance to see the homes, the orphanages, the the different places that. Uh, all what the church is doing. All the, what the church is doing, and 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 how church members okay. had grown from being, you know, nobody uh, destitutes from being nobodies to being great. I so I mean, practically every day we were taken to one place or the other. I, um, Willa was here to there was a South Sorry, African Willa? here. Willa, Willa. Ah, okay. We were here together at the first other, visit. Other she, people, right? Yeah, she, you know, she, she was from South Africa. So it was such, uh, it was so profound, you know, that this was happening. I mean, what I had seen in books, in, in your writings. What you read in books. What I read, I was seeing it. And it, the good thing was that I was seeing the passion with which these people were the, doing the revolutionary doing. passion yes, that is capable of transforming Nigeria yes. and any other country. Yeah.
another country and this was what was uh, most striking about it but getting back you know instantly i realized that oh yes i have seen it's like hearing testimonies seeing testimonies seeing people being amazed about i mean about all that you saw but okay just as we're saying now what are the principles behind these things happening it's one thing for you to to see it happen it's one thing for you to see uh, the evidence of the work but how were these things built how were these things what are started? the principles behind principles the behind obvious that you yes from what we see so this is this 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 has been the reason for the for the second and now the third visit i said i i i just i realized that i i needed to learn the okay things. before we go into the principles and okay. the lessons that you are taking back to nigeria what we discover is that especially after our our program with joshua mm. that people are actually interested in pastor sunday that as a pastor as a man of god who is he as a person that I mean how is he living in his house he puts you in his house how is that like and how can he just receive you somebody you never met before you're not a relative you're not a minister friend you're not a pastor just getting you to come to visit how is that like Ooh. before we go into the classes who Ooh. is pastor so they tell them people who have never been here who Ooh. don't even have an idea yeah as as simple as they come i mean you, you, it's like you will not expect to see any man of god who is any who, who is any man of god at all you know to be that simple and i think uh that's that's uh it's very great indeed i just walked in here and every day we sit together you know every one of us who has come to visit from anywhere we sit together where he's writing his articles we go together if he's going to the court he's going to church wherever he gives you a chance to sit with him and go with him everywhere to ask him questions as often as you want to to get to listen to him when he's doing his transactions whether they are business transactions they are uh, personal uh, personal where it, there is nothing he's doing that you don't have a chance just sitting in and listening you know to some of the conversations you're able to learn and you're able to observe him and see how he does things how he's able to achieve i think the first thing i got when I came the first time is I can do this just by looking at him I, saw, I can do this you know because I had I, I was like so many of my flaws I, I could think of I know I'm not so hard working I really, but when I saw him control things saw him maximize the potentials of everyone around him and maximize his own potential the way he, he was doing things you know the way you do things as you say effortlessly you know the way you do things you know stresslessly, stresslessly you know from morning till night you are doing something and no one can see that stress or it, there's no stress really not that no one can see the stress there's no stress the way you do your things you know now i realized that i can do this too i mean <laughs> yeah i can do things just came over me yeah, i can know? do yeah spirit, i can do it spirit of faith i can do it <laughs> just as you said this I mean, the, in the if morning, someone if ever someone did else it. can do it, I can do it. In fact, you know, it was a great testimony here. Yeah, I was sitting in front of him and I was saying, Pastor, I can do it. Yes. Just seeing you, observing so you. So that's the confirmation yeah. of the message yes. for today. That day I was right in front of you. I said, Pastor, you see what I'm seeing right I can now? Do this I thing. can do this thing you're doing. I, I used to think I can't because I am I'm not as hardworking as many people I'm not. But seeing you, I know that I can do it and there's no flaw, nothing in me that will stop me from doing Amen. what you're doing Masha. right now. Yes, that was that, that was one of the greatest things. So, so being with you, I mean, anyone who sees you, observes you, is going to go away knowing that time is of essence and that you can actually do so much. Maximize your life. You can maximize your life. You can do so much within a short time. You can make make all uh, your time to matter to count. You know, that, that, that anyone will take away from you. you know, just seeing you. Yeah. Now, yesterday I was talking. Yesterday we were talking with my son, and he Paris. was talking Paris, yes. yes, and he was talking about our our house is always full of people, mm. and we have a, how is what's Pastor Sunday's house like if he's taking so many people? What will you say about the environment here? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you, you know, before I came, you you told me that you said there are always between fifty, you know, two hundred. So I, I, it's a big house, and truly, when I came, that that was what I met. <clears throat> Some of the times, you know, even though it's a 60 bedroom house, house <laughs> you know, when people really come, sometimes they'll have to sleep 
in the corridors and everything because it is even over <laughs> in the city over, rooms in the city rooms anywhere because they just want to be in that's when there are programs you know when when those who have come as guests are there and then people come in for weekend programs they are sleeping anywhere they don't even care they just want to be you know when i go here they just I, want to hang around they just want to hang around <laughs> i mean these are white europeans <laughs> yeah when These I are white here, people. When I got here the first two days, I was like, oh, let me not just hang around. I, I wanted to go to the gym and I was told there's a gym here. I was like, oh, good. You know, and I marched right into the gym and I saw that even in the gym, you know. Give us some water. Yeah, there's some, I mean, brand new equipment all set and everything that you had bought there. But people were sleeping under in the, the gym. gym. Over the gym everywhere. <laughs> so you couldn't do any exercise? There was nothing I could do. The human beings were humans. everywhere. Families were, you know, were everywhere, you know, especially those uh, times when uh, those had to come. So it's like here is always it's um, uh, a full house. Okay. Now, besides that, I, I no, we, we already you already gave people an idea of uh, what Pastor Sunday's house is like, especially when we had this program with Joshua and Perez. Because Joshua started talking about here, I'm going to ask other people to begin to now not just talk about the topic. People want to see what is behind uh, the scene. People want just want to have a glimpse and have an idea. Who is this man and what does his life look like? So that's why I'm asking you some more personal stuff. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to the lessons that you said you got yeah. by being here. That this one thing, especially combining it with what you have now seen. I mean, what you heard today, that if anyone could do it, do you think national transformation, the transformation of Nigeria is a possibility, especially after coming to Ukraine to see what you have seen here and to hear me talking about the principles and the secrets behind the success? Pastor, it's more than do I think. It is like I can take my life on it. That national transformation in Nigeria. Is, in Nigeria is possible. Not only possible, it is doable and it's going to be done now. I can bet anything on it. It's so simple. I mean, the people who are doing things here are people who are coming from minus. Minus, minus, big minus. In Nigeria, we have people who are, have come so far, you know, in the Lord, who have been there for so many years. So They are just being, cons they are being conserved in the churches. <laughs> They are not being given the direction and the release that is necessary. So they are being conserved in the churches. They are already ready, prepared by God, but they don't know what to do with exactly. their preparation. Exactly. And as you will say, like two years after somebody has given his life and he's on fire, he's, he's, he has so much passion, but we're so cautious, we're so afraid to let the person go out and do something. It's like, oh, just two years in the Lord, you will make mistakes, you will do, and then we conserve the person till the person loses the fire, loses the passion, and is no longer eager to go out. Out or those is, is it's not too afraid to even go out at the end of the day we just pack ourselves in church. is that one of the is that one of the principles we have observed here that people were just two years Whoa, in the Lord, one year in the Lord. <laughs> as soon as the person wants to go is ready to go you just let the person go that's one thing i have learned here you know because what are we afraid of that the person because he's newly converted and, uh, you know, he's on fire, he has zeal, but he wants to go and start something outside. He wants to go and do... And we're afraid he would, he's afraid not strong enough. He's not strong enough. He may go back to the world. What will make him go back to the world is joblessness. Is, is when he's not lack doing... Lack of activities. Lack of activities. When he's not doing what what his passion wants him to yes. do when he's not doing something that his conviction after God has touched him when he's not able to do that which is in his heart that is when things go wrong that, that's when evil people go back the more mm. but when a man in coming to God instantly comes into connection again with why he was created. He discovers that this is my passion. He discovers that this is my pain. He now finds where those two intersect and then you, he, he goes out and goes for it. Even if it is one year after he has, is born again, that person has more like likelihood of surviving, not only surviving, of doing well in the Lord than the one who is preserved in the church. You know, so that you don't go as if we're being refrigerated. You know, we don't want us to go back. Your experience here in Ukraine, your experience here with me, with our church, and with our ministers and with our members, what will you say has taught you in the in the essence that in the fact that I was talk, I've been talking in the in the in line of what I've been teaching this way, that the life life's greatest secret is that life is predictable, that you can actually predict what result we are going to have in Nigeria if you go back there. We can predict 
that you know Nigeria could be saved. Somebody was asking me one time when I was talking that when I come to Nigeria, things will begin to move, that there will be a difference. Mm. Somebody said, how are you so confident? Why are you, how can you be so confident like that? I, you know, they are not used to, I, what, but there are other men of God there now. Mm. Why do you say things, you go there and something will begin to happen? Mm. Be, but they don't know what I know. I yeah. know that life is pretty. So, but I had, not just me saying that now, mm. I had you saying that, yes. that you are sure. Yes. That by the time you all go back to Nigeria, yes. that things will begin to move. Yes. Where is that confidence coming from? How the principle of life is predictable. And if somebody has ever done something, this thing we I'm talking about this week, what's your take on that? Yes, as I said, just merely looking at you, you ha you get the confidence that look, he, if some if if he's doing it, I mean, he makes it like as you said something. You said in Africa, one of the problems we have is that everything is mysterious. And then when something, you don't ah, understand something, you begin to uh, worship it. You begin okay. to, you know. But you Masha make sure kalala, that bakasa, whatever kalala, you're bakasa, doing kalala, is not looking like mystery to anyone. Yes. Whatever you are doing, <laughs> you, you break it down, you know. So easy. Man, easy. You make Simplify it easy. Ministry. Simplify it. So if someone is, is saying, how is this done? You know, in fact, all your books, your articles, it's like you're trying to show someone this is how this can be done. This is how that can be done. Show you so, secrets. So secrets. So you know that actually if I want to correct education, all I need to do is build a system. Yeah. How to correct this, uh, the problems that are around. Right. So when you even teach, you know, I've been on, in, in the HMT training and you taught on how to build systems. You realize that any problem that Masha you see, Kalaraba, you can build Kalaraba, a system Kalaraba, to solve the problem, you can build a system to solve any problem, so Kalaraba, 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 what problem do we have, just by sitting here, what I have realized is that, look, in Nigeria we complain that there is so much unemployment, you know, from, I, 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 it's, not, it's, not my, it's not my place to say the things you want to go and do in Nigeria, which you have revealed to us, you know, but I can briefly just say that, mm -hmm. okay, we say that she we have so much unemployment, yet they are, we say that um, we don't have, um, so many things are wrong, we, we need uh, handicaps to be taken care of, we have so many beggars on the street, we have so many problems Security, we pass by corruption. every day, corruption, yes. everything, and then we say we are, uh, there's joblessness. So, so what, what, what else is there? You know, when you have this kind of people, you problems. can actually build these problems that you are the solution Those are to the, the jobs. Problem. Those are the jobs. The only reason we're saying this, we don't have anything to do, is because we're thinking it is only uh, the government, government that, that can do it. Or, and we're also thinking it's only when we can see where the money will come from directly. Okay. Sell and buy. Okay. That is the only thing you can okay. call work. Okay. But there are people who dedicate their lives into Masha doing these things. And God pays them. That's the truth. Eventually, if you're working, God will, you're reward you. God will reward you. He will yes. bring those who yes. will pay you. Yes. That, that's yes. it. Because he has his own people in different places. Only if you can trust. So there's so much work outside. Nigeria has so much work to be done because everything so if there's so much undone. work why if there's so much work why do we talk about unemplo unemployment because everybody <laughs> thinks that it is somebody that has to give them a job they think and it is that the, 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 it's until the salary is defined and they know this is what i'm going to collect that is when it, 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 i mean but have a job. what what we have learned here is that every problem is a job on its every own every problem is a job that the more problem you have the more jobs job you have and eventually even from observing people here and everything, you realize that, look, when you're ready to do it for free, but it's Masha your passion, Kalala, and Kalala, you know, Bakasa, this is something you hate, you want to eradicate, this is something you have passion for, you know, doing, and when you do it, eventually the money will come looking Meshe for you, Kaleri, and Kalala, look for Bakasa, you in Kalala, a way that Bakasa, will surprise you, that is how yes, life yes, is made, yes, yes, and you yes, find out that yes, people who yes. go after their passion and go against Na, Bakasa, their pain Kalala, are those Bakasa, that make the Kalala, highest Bakasa, money, Kalala, that do it because they love to do it, or do it, go against it because they hate it, so if evidence has shown that in the secular world, what is the church waiting for? Right. So that's what I see the church doing here, that no other, I mean, churches are are not doing outside which we need to do now in nigeria now so these principles that have been talking principles that i've been talking about this week if you want to observe them yeah. and you know ex examine them mm. uh i've been talking in general about the fact that life really is not as tough as not as com uh, complex and uh, it's not such a mystery as like cool. people want it to look like and that uh, God is a good God. God is an understanding God. 
and God has simplified life to us mm. through the principles that he has given us, especially through the Bible. Mm. And I also spoke about the fact, you know, that this is the life, this is the greatest secret in life, that life is predictable. Yes. And then I spoke about pre the role of principles in, in making life predictable. Yes. And I spoke about what we was talking about. If anybody has, anybody has ever done it, yeah. then it is even yeah. the more easier mm. for you to know that life is predictable, that you too can do it. So, <clears throat> so what are the other lessons or mm. what are the other things that mm. you think that, how did this thing minister to you this morning? Because oh. I know you will watch this program yes. today. You said something, you said, if you see anything that has been done, you know, it looks big, it looks uh, incredible and all that. All you need to ask yourself is, what are the principles behind this? What principles has been applied? Because if somebody has done it, that means you can do it. In fact, it's, it's even, I, I, as you were saying it, I, I, I was uh, ruminating inside of me and said, if somebody has done it, it means you can find an easier way to yes, do it. Yes, it should be because easier. Because the fact you see, because oftentimes the greatest problem for an inventor is the fact that there's this, there's this thing nagging behind his mind that it can be done. The dream that is too tough. He still has some doubts. He still has some doubts. It's just mm -hmm. going on. Right. You know, and people, everybody around him may be saying, you're crazy. Yes. But when someone has done has it. already done it. Then yes. it means it is easier for you. You only have, right. have to study and find out what are the principles that have been used in Yes. This. And then there was something you said when you talked about maths, you talked about physics. Mathematics, being, physics, mathematics being, yes. You know, I, and, and, and I just had this glow inside of me because I said, look, if they, we are going to solve the problem of children not liking, uh, students not, not, liking not liking mathematics, mathematics I think they should first go and show them the end. Yeah, let them the see, end result. Let go and, let, just go and show them the end result. Because as you were talking about it, I'm, I've never been a, a maths student and all that. But I realized that maybe because I love pictures, I love the arts, I love... But it may be if someone had shown me... The how, end picture. The end picture, how maths was used to, you know, to calculate something, to make something fly, or how physics was used to do this, then I will understand... Why you, you need it. Why, why I need it. And I may be able to put them together better. And I create understand. something. Yes. And yes, so what I well, as you were saying that, I realized that no maths is, is supposed to be very interesting, physics is supposed to be very interesting. And see, because these are the basics from what you're saying, it's like you use principles, you know, to understand, you use them to discover to, principles exactly. and formulas. Mm, and it was so interesting to me when you said something about uh, you know, you had told me before in one of our conversations, you had, you had, you had used this example that okay, people teach us, you know. The go, gone are those days that uh, drivers were just few, and everybody thought driving was mysterious or writing, you know, where we didn't have the alphabet. You had used that in your examples before while teaching us. But the part that you had not told us, you know, that was interesting for me to hear this morning was when you said, Do you know now you can go on excursion in Russia to, you know, to space? To, to space. To space. <laughs> I was like, Wow, you know, is that simple? anybody can go on excursion, on excursion to, space. to space? And some time ago, it will look like you will have to study for how many years you will have to be this you will have to be that but it has been simplified brought down to certain principles it means that if any life is simple life could simple, be simplified you can simplify anything break them down to principles and and, and and it becomes easy for you to do I also realized when you talked about miracles that, that part I didn't think about it like that you know when you said you see even when you were going to start ministry yes. you studied very hard People who had made it, who right. were good in, who, who God who had good used in the, the supernatural, in the right. supernatural, and then you decided, and as you were saying that, you know, quickly it came to my mind that, yeah, see, this was what Peter did. Right. Jesus stepped on water, you know, and he was looking at Jesus and knew instantly that if Jesus was doing it, I, yeah, can, I can do, do it. it as well. He yes. just told Jesus, ask me to come and yes. I'll step on this yes. water. And Jesus said, come, and he stepped on but this was mm. the same Peter that was just a fisherman and everything. Right. And he had, it wasn't because he had been endued with power from on eye at that time. Because he, he saw just, an example. He saw it and it means he knew that principle that if Jesus was doing it, because Jesus had not made things mysterious to them. 
Right. You know, he said to the outer world, you see, it's a mystery to them. He said to you, I explain, I make, I break it down Mashiach to you. That means to them, he was showing them principles. To them, he was showing Mashiach them Kalara how things work. You understand? He was breaking it down. So Peter knew that if Jesus walked on water, even though we we'll call it miracle, that Jesus walking on water meant he could. Mashiach and he just said it straight. And Jesus said, come on the water. And he came on the water. And that, so it's like today, as I was just listening, I was like, no, the, the I can do it kept on just growing inside of me as <laughs> no, Pastor, you're saying the right thing today. If someone has done it before, I will do it. And I know Amen. many people have transformed Masha their nations la before. La I know many people have taken the responsibility. You, as an example, have taken the responsibility of their countries on their shoulders, and it has worked. And that means that if I go back and I say, Nigeria, here where I come, I am going to do all that needs to be done. And I know that you know, I will get the same results once I apply the same principles. Mm. Now, this week I've been talking, like I said, about the fact that principles simplify life. Yes. Uh, laws simpl simplify life. Procedures mm. simplify life. And that is why the Bible is given to us. Mm. It's not for religious purposes mm -hmm. or for religious sake. Mm. It's for us to be able to know and walk in understanding rather than walking in darkness. Mm. And, uh, you know, that each time we, you know, even not just with the Bible, anything we see, is either it's a house, either it's a submarine, anything that has yes. ever been done by a human yes. being, mm. Africa could copy it. If Europe has been able to build a great country, America has been able to build a great mm. country, any individual could copy mm. great men as well. Mm. So, so uh, what did that message this morning, what do you think, uh, you know, what do you think is its place in the church generally? In the, not just, you know, maybe where you are coming from, in the country you are mm. coming from. What has been holding the church back? Do you think this kind of message could really help the church and release the body of Christ to begin to do exploits? Of course, of course. This, this is one of the messages, you know, that, that the church needs not only to hear, to meditate upon and to act upon. You know, because if you look at it, poverty is one of the greatest problems we have. As we have it in the world, we have it in the church. In fact, sometimes the church has more poverty than outside because we are bound by certain rules that the world is not observing and everything. So in Nigeria, you know, uh, it's time for us, uh, for individuals to look at themselves and say, okay, I am, my, my father, I was born into a poor family. My father is poor my mother is poor is there anyone somewhere whose father and mother has We're been poor. poorer than this hmm. like know? me like you you know and has become great is there anyone who did not have father and mother in case you you don't have a father and you don't have a mother is there anyone who did not have father and mother and now has become great and you will find out that there will be more in fact go and there are research, many of them you will find thousands of them and if you're handicapped you're going to ask yourself, maybe you don't have arms. Mashakala, you're going to ask, Mashakala. is there anyone who does who, who does not have arms and is prop spray somewhere? You're going to find, in fact, Pastor Nick has become very popular. Nick, so yes. you know, he doesn't even have, he doesn't have arms, he doesn't have legs. So you're not saying, oh, I don't have one arm. That's my, that's, that's, that's my, my challenge. My challenge. That's the disadvantage I have. So that's why I can't prosper. Then you ask yourself, is there someone who is doing this? Because if someone is doing this, anywhere in the world, is doing this anywhere in the world, you can. Just look at it. If someone is doing this, then that means you can. So your handicap is there someone, okay, you like music, but you can't hear. There are people who have been deaf and produced yes, best songs. Yes. You are blind. How can you be a good musician? There are Steve Wonder who has shown the world the wonder of being a blind man and, and, and thrilling the world. There's so many examples. You only need to find one and say, if this person can do it, it means that I can do it. So I think definitely the church needs it. Nigeria as a whole needs it. And I know that it's going to be, I mean, something that will revolutionize the, you know, the country if we can take it and put it into practice. Then what has the church been doing? What uh, this no question is not to you. I'm not trying to challenge yeah. you, or but I'm just trying to think. Maybe a new revolution God is trying to bring to the church mm. by opening our eyes, not just to make us religious, because yeah. our country is one of the most religious in the world, and many African countries, developing countries, are very religious. But mm. it does not really help too much. Maybe we need to move from being religious to being pragmatic and believers in God, Christians in God, believers that apply principles. What these teachings of this week, what are the things you would
say that we need to emphasize in it and for the church and for the Christ, for Christians everywhere. Christians must stop believing in superstitions. Hmm. We must, we are the ones to deliver the world from, from the bondage to superstition. We should not be, we shouldn't be the ones that are now Spreading propagating superstition. superstition. We are even using Christian faith to build superstition. To build superstition. It's like the things that the people have escaped from. Leaders, church leaders, now again are returning are, them are, into are, it. Yes, are bringing them back into it. You know, maybe bondage. Bondage. And the people that think that they've oh, and now I've come to Christ, I've escaped. You know, all this, and now they are going back to it. Superstition is one thing that, from this message, I get. We must, if we are going to get forward, rid of we superstition, must get rid of superstition. It thinks everything Masha has an explanation. Masha. You may not know the explanation right now. Try and find it. And there's someone who has that explanation, even if you don't. Remember how medicine, how it used to be, even ordinary malaria, how it used to kill. It used to kill us, kill, kill, kill Africans. It used to kill uh, white people who came to us. Nigeria, I mean, Africa was known as as a, 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 like like a, the, 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 the yeah. burial ground for for, for, for whites white who came who, who came to us. But malaria has become something we treat and we treat so well. In fact, in fact, when it comes to miracles, as I said the other time, even when it comes to miracles, the supernatural, when God shows us, I believe firmly from what I, I learned today, when God shows us a particular miracle, he's showing you that this is what you can do in the natural. Yes, if you will put your yes, mind to it. Yes. He healed, Jesus healed leprosy. But now we have cure to leprosy. Amen. He doesn't have to come down and be healing every leper now. Yes. Because now we have then the, a leper would have to go out of town and go to the back because we didn't have the answers. He fed the, the Hungry those days, yes, and we did it supernaturally. Supernaturally, it's showing us it's that showing we could find a way to produce yes, food that if we and look very feed well, people. Yes, that if we look very well at that principle, that we are going to be able to, you know, to know what to do. In fact, oh, there is also the aspect when you talked about the fact that horsepower. When we study the horse, we're able to know that okay, if they run this fast, we can do it. Yes. You know, although we can't do it with our legs, but it means we can. Do we it. can find a way. A way to do it. If if birds That's are why we flying, need formula. Yes, formula principles. If if birds are flying, it means that there's a way that we can actually Bashaka fly because they are defying Bashaka gravity. Bashaka so Bashaka if they can defy gravity, maybe we don't have what it takes to defy gravity but can build what it takes to defy gravity which and now you know even the sea was parted the red sea was parted yeah. now people pu are push. passing the sea yes they, they are parting the sea they, they push, push back the water they push the, back the water they build on on, on the sea they reclaim do whatever. they, they reclaim land. it and where they don't want to they, they build bridges over it we drive over water we, we, we you know so it says even in his creatures if you look well, by listening to, to this message today, you should have gotten that. That it means that even if we study the creatures of God and see them doing it, we may not be able to use our physical body to do it. But it we means can that find the formulas. We can find formulas that is being the principles, the principles behind this thing that we can use and develop and something build that an alternative. Us, and build an alternative that will make us to to do exactly what what the creatures are doing. So how much more when a human being has done it? Has done it. A human being. Even what has done God it. did. Yes. Even what God did, we are duplicating. We are duplicating because we are creators. We like are creators, him, we are like made him. in his image. We are made, we are made in he his is image. the ultimate creator. And it, it, which means we, are, we too are creators. We are creators. If we could observe what he has done, done. His, the works of his hands, we could study them very well. We could use the knowledge of mathematics and physics and the you know, chemistry yes. and science mm -hmm. to derive the formulas from these things yes. and derive the principles behind everything God has created yes. and repeat mm -hmm. his creation mm -hmm. or a build an alternative mm -hmm. of his creation. Mm -hmm. And that is what we have done yes. with airplane, with cars, and with you know oxygen with computer I, what i didn't say this morning how did we come about computer people started studying human brains mm. it is the studies of human, human brain, brain that gave back to computers, computers. So if we could copy Almighty God, mm. if what Almighty God has done, the principle is teaching us yes. that what someone has done, mm. we too could repeat. Even mm. God, mm. what God has done, we could repeat. repeat. If that's why, uh, talk less of a human being. Yes. What human beings have done, definitely easy mm. for us to replace. Mm. But then with the miracles of Jesus, mm. and even the miracles in the Bible, they are also a pointer to us that God is showing, showing us, us some things, things that we need to build be, systems around. Around. and principles to create as well. Yes. So anything God has done in creation, Sean, we too could duplicate it and build something alternatively mm. 
through mechanism, mm. through science, through understanding, through wisdom, mm. and become like our Father, Father in heaven, heaven and be His image yes. and His likeness, yes. so that they will say we are children yes. of our Father in heaven. Yes, and I believe that even when He does those miracles, when He when, when God. When God does one miracle, he, he doesn't want to keep repeating that miracles. As you have said in some of your messages, you know, when miracles, that's for God. You know, he's the one doing miracles. Ours is for us to understand principles and know how to be behind those here. miracles. That is our own part. So when God does a miracle and the blind eyes can see, know that he's saying that if you study hard, if you if you, you can find the principles behind opening of eyes, I always, I, I always and that say, is why we can heal blindness now. Heal blindness Lico, now. Lycomia, yes. lycomia, uh, so cataract, things and go, things like yes. that. I, I, I mean, some Even centuries with, back, we will not know that we could open up the eye and bring out and the remove the cataract. The yes, I remove cataract and repair the eye and correct short sightedness and all these things. You know, so it's that there is nothing. In fact, when we observe the things that have been has, has been done on earth right now, we will know that. There is nothing that we, we, we want to attempt to do that is too much for us. Because the, how far we have come now, there is nowhere we want to go that we won't, we won't. But But the problem is that instead of the church teaching us these things, the possibility mentality, mm. if we just claim the word mm. that we, no, what do I say? I can do all things in Christ okay. Jesus who trusts him. Mm. Somebody wrote that in the morning. I said, yes, you can repeat that till you die for 100 years, 200 mm. years, mm. till Jesus comes back. Mm. And I can do all things. Mm. But if you are not taught and given the understanding, mm -hmm. like we are doing this way, yes. you will just be repeating. Like, repeating. like You will just be repeating like the kind of... But you will never be able to do anything. Mm. Mm. You will not be able to perform it. Mm. So instead of the church teaching us, on principles, how to really practically mm. apply the Bible into practical Practic real mm. life, what we have done is that we just make people religious, just yes. be repeating something, or just be going to God and asking Him to do it. It's, it's and, and, and God commended Moses for, for, for knowing His ways. And that's talking about principles. Not just the wonders not of God. Not just the wonders of God, not the acts. If you see an act and you, you dismiss it as, oh, this is a miracle. You see it and say, oh, this is because this person is, um, is uh, so blessed by God. He's intelligent. He's a different human being. He's a different species. If you dismiss it like that, you, are, you, you, are, you, are, you can't be uh, commended by God. Because, because he commended Moses for studying his ways. To discover to the be, ways of God. The ways of God. What is behind To copy God his himself. Acts. Yes, what is behind his acts. What is behind the things he does. Trying to understand. But we put one. even human beings on pedestal today. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to put God on a pedestal. pedestal. We are even putting not just God on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. We are putting humans on pedestal. And say Pastor Sunday is anointed. Mm -hmm. Or that other that pastor, Benny Hinn is anointed. Mm -hmm. He is on a class on his own. I so, cannot do this. So we only go to be asking for prayers. Mm -hmm. We only go to be asking for blessings. Yes. We are even humiliating we want, the creation of God. We are. We, we see, are debasing God in people. Mm, and oftentimes we see people who, who, who have done things that we... Who have done great things. Great Bill things. Gates. We, and we, we quickly give one reason why they've done it. And why we, we cannot do it. Yes, you say, Dangote is so rich. You say, well, oh, his he grandfather. Has a, he, has a, he has a grandfather. He has an uncle. He, he, um, this person is... Well, at least from what Pastor has said today, go look for the one... Who has a similar case to yours? And you will find out that you will find 10 who have cases that are worse than yours. People who have read their biographies. Read, in fact, you talked about biographies today. And I said, when I, well, part of one of those I studied when thinking of great men and uh, national transformation is Obafemi Awolo. Mm -hmm. You understand? And when I read, you know, a statement he said about, uh, uh, he said to, to God, a heart of flame to my neighbors a heart of love to myself a heart of steel what he was saying I, when i saw that i said look if you want to get how this man did great, great things go and study the fact that he said to himself a heart of steel meaning he did not allow himself excuses he did not allow himself self-pity self he did not allow himself to be pamp to pamper himself when he ought to be doing the work he ought to have been doing he was hard on himself he, he showed love to human beings and then his heart was aflame for god for those three things if you study and you decide to you will do great things as he did great things Amen. if you study the biography you know when you talk about biography i says this is so true of any man if you study you will find out Principles. Secrets, principles that he followed and worked for him. 
And if you can study those prayers, I mean, you also make this example sometimes, though you didn't, I, I didn't hear you make it today. Like, you, you, you know, the, the answer you're looking for is in a man somewhere you near, know, you. near you. And, and, and if you really want to find the answers, you humble yourself and go and find out from the person. If you mm. cannot get the principles by yourself, by sitting down and studying the person, go and ask that person. Go and sit down and find out what are the principles behind this thing you're doing because that is what I want to do. And when you do, you are going to find out that it is possible for you also to do the same thing. One of the, and one of the ways to study uh, other people is you don't need to really see them physically. You can also uh, go ahead and read their books or surround yourself with their materials. No, no, no. Okay. stop the read, read. Yeah. You can go ahead and uh, study their materials. Mm. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, just surround yourself. Like, for example, Bill Gates is in America, but I can be here right now and surround myself by the, with, the, with the materials of Bill, Gales, Bill mm. Gates. Mm. And uh, I can be listening to him from morning to night and know so much about him, just like you people are studying me right now. And so much that you will know all his principles and his secrets. Mm. So, what are the other things that this message of this morning, that if anybody was able to do something, you can repeat it. So, no problem. Don't live in sorrow. Don't mm -hmm. live in self-condemnation. Mm. Don't begin to blame your conditions of birth mm. or your family background. Mm. Don't begin to blame your, your uh, wealth, I mean, your financial situation. Mm. Either you have money or you don't have money. Mm. Know that if you could... Whatever yes. you want to become, whatever you, uh, you, you know, you envy, to. if you could get the person who has done, done it, it and find out the secrets mm. and the principles, you'll be able to repeat. What are the other things you'd like to emphasize? Yes, uh, Pastor, I must uh, go quickly to something I, I didn't finish. You know, okay. Talking about uh, when we studied the, uh, the creature, creature too, when we yes. the creation, we were able to discover certain things you know i was yes. thinking of the ants when you were talking right you know god you know because the bible points us to the ants he said yes, go study, go the, study ants, the ants you know and uh, you see that uh, in in summer you know they make yes. they make their food they make provisions for themselves you know and you said they are tiny uh, they are tiny creatures, uh, creatures but able to do so many and we are so big and so intelligent <laughs> we have we don't walk by instinct and everything and yet we're not able to build you know where we live we're not but there's something that struck me there as i was you know you know, uh, taking note of, of that, that aspect, I realized also that the ants, you understand, you know, they, uh, they you know, let, let me know, I don't know, they are not termites, I will say now. You yes, know, we have this in the They are also variants of yes. ants, yes. Yeah, yeah. they are also variation of ants. Yes. yes, but in Yoruba, they will say, Ikon parakbo, Ikon mole, what as, an, as destructive as termites are. Right. You understand? They come together and they build. I realized and behind build that, themselves and build house. themselves a mighty big uh, castle. Constructions, castle. Yes. I mean, when you compare the height of what they build to who, the, how little they are, you know, these are castles. They are building like uh, pyramids. But yes, some mighty things they build for themselves and they are destructive. But when it comes to, you know, when they come together and decide to build, they have a system, they have queens, they, they have, have constructive king, they have, you know, thinking. they have, you know, government right inside there. Then it got to me that Nigeria's problem is not too big. Even this, Masha our inter-tribal wars, even Kalala all the yeah. things, conflicts as we are having, as we as are, we are <laughs> when we decide to come together, which we are going to decide to come together very soon, Amen. we'll find out if ants can do it, we can do it. Amen. If no matter how it is, ants generally, these termites, they, they, are they are destructive. All they do is destroy. And it looks right now that that's all Nigerians are doing. As in, we're pulling ourselves down, we're doing this, we're doing that, things and all working but if ants can do it nigerians can do it if ants can do it other african countries can do it if ants can do it no matter how much it seems you two people don't agree it, it they can actually do it and it also works when it comes to marriage also you know if two people decide that they are to going to together. make it work you know if ants can do it you can do it if your children and everything you're thinking they're too unbearable your family too unbearable your your father your mother your extended family whatever if ants can come together and do something, you know, no matter how destructive they are, then we can do it. So you are going to Nigeria, you are going back to Africa, a changed lady. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what has visit to Ukraine and encounter with this revelation done to you? Yes, it has. Um, before I came here, I was having, you know, <laughs> I shared with you, I was having I, the conversation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell people something okay. that after you came here for the second time 
you take it you took a decision to leave the team you were with you were in president's team president Bukhari's team yes. and you decided to resign yes. and go ahead and Actually, pursue I your passion to step aside to, yeah, to step to, aside yeah. to step aside yeah. and pursue this passion and believe god yes. and you know for some people it would have been their dream to just hang around in the president's circle and just try to look for themselves a profession, a mm. job or something. Mm. But you decided to believe God and pursue God mm. and p pursue the passion of transforming Nigeria, either with the president, if they, if it needed, you would be ready to do it. But if not, you will still be ready to transform the country. Yes. But what has this encounter done for you? And with this confidence you are using to talk and all this revelation you are... This, you are you, do you think you have really... The value has been added to you? Oh, so much value has been added to me. Before I came here, I had the confidence that Nigeria would be good and I'm going to be able to support whoever wants to make Nigeria good. But coming here, as I said, the I can do it came very much on me. It's like I'm going to, I'm ready to take the stage. I'm ready to beat my chest. I'm ready to say, if no one will do it, I will do it. I'm ready to say, we're going to do it and we're going to do it now. That confidence, that boldness, that readiness is there. You know, before one of the things that I also also have is this okay we're waiting you know waiting we're right waiting for god you know the same for but the right, right now you understand i have waited i have stayed with god i have you know been with god for this while and stayed on this transformation now i know that it is it's time now. to move now i know that if anything is going to happen it's going to happen because we're acting Bashakala, it's going to happen because we decide to do it that if i sit down and i continue from it now being in church uh, talking about church talking about how to be perfect how not to sin how not to fall how not, if i continue from now to now it does not mean i'll be better than how well, I, am I am already now. Yeah, it doesn't mean i'll be better than i but if i act and I do what needs to be done. It means there's, I have, you know, the, the, the influence. I'm, I'm, I'm able to influence other people, you know, to start and also carry their own load. Because it, it will have to do this. All, will, all of us will have to take our own different angles. Yes. We all, all, all have to take different parts yes. in making things work. So if I start mine, you know, I believe that in standing up and taking my own position, all other people will be able to take theirs by looking at me. That is my great hope. I have that confidence and nothing is going to stop me just as i'm going now anybody can do it i can do it i you name so many of these leaders yes. who have done it in time past it's not because they were it, it was just that boldness and desire to confidence make things, confidence to faith, make in things, faith in god faith in god faith in themselves work, and they went out and i'm going to go i'm going out right now nothing is going to stop me because i can i'm go uh, <laughs> i'm going to talk to your husband uh, one of these days, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow, uh, is also, I want to hear about his transformational journey as well. Okay. Why did you decide to bring your husband? Oh, okay. <laughs> now, what happened is, my husband is, uh, is, is this, uh, is, is this man that has a, a great confidence in himself such that he can allow his wife to, to travel, travel to Ukraine, a new country to be anywhere and he's confident that you know she's going she's going after her dreams which is our dream and he's sponsoring that and he's sponsoring it you know and making sure paying for I, it paying for it making sure i go anywhere i want to go in discovering what it is we believe needs to be done. And after I had come the first time, given my report, and we are not just him because we're a team of about six, okay. and we sat down. Six families? No, three families. That's okay, six people. Six people, uh -huh. yes. We, we, we sat together and discussed this the first time, sat, came back second time, sat together, discussed and planned on this. You know, it, it, we, we saw it fit that now he should come and we will come together and come and sit and you know, finalize things and discuss, you know, because one of the things you do when you're with pastor is that you're not just talking, you're also sharing plans, you know, it doesn't just project you to dreams, you know, the first time I was talking to pastor, I said, okay, I, pastor, I still need to see you, we have nothing, and I said, okay, then when I heard him saying, what is this, what is this person submitting to me, uh, is this plan or dreams, or, and I said, pastor, is there a format that what I'm going to submit to you ought to take, he said, ah, I be you two are coming to me with dreams. You have not break, broken them down into plans of action and uh, I said, then go on, you know. So from that first time, you know, till now, I have so much improved when it comes to putting my ideas Amen. together Amen. and putting them, you know, you know, on, on paper. So what happens is that, you know, this time around, one of the things we want to do is 
you know, put plants on ground, you know, go through it with build pastor, a system. build a system, see what we're going to build when we get to Nigeria, how it's going to work and all that. That's one reason why we came. And pastor kept insisting, I will love your husband to be here this time. I will want him to be here this time as you're coming, you know, so because the children have three children, you know, and uh, sometimes, you know, both of us, it's not so easy for both of us to to take off at the same time, especially when you have to spend like three weeks outside. You know, so my husband had been bearing that uh, uh, each time I traveled, you know, bearing that uh, burden. burden, you know. But this time, you know, we found a way to do it such that both of us can be here so that we can do the plans, finalize things and see how we we'll go hit Nigeria. How long have you been here now? I've been here. This is the sixth week. It's running to six weeks now. My husband came three weeks ago. And, uh, you know, you thank God that are you grateful to God that he, he gave you, the two of you, the opportunity to be here together? Do you think it's, it's a blessing? Of course, because each time when you have to go give reports, it's good. And he's been talking with Pastor on phone. He's been, you know, they've been communicating. Yeah, but this time around now, two of us will now go back to the house and be able to, I mean, when I talk because about the house, we're a team of six. Yeah. When I talk about her, yeah, so, we, you know, we we'll now go back to the house and say, house now this and so two people reporting something i think is better than one and now yes. we've both seen together we've both you know we've both seen these things that i've been talking about together and yeah i think it's much better that both of us are here this time do, what do you think that this my the idea that i'm doing this video because you knew you could come here to be yes. with me in my house and see me but most people just they've heard of my name but they don't really know what to think about Pastor Sunday. They don't even know my content and my teachings and my, you know, they don't know much about that. And uh, many of them, you know, uh, you know, they don't just don't know what to think. They just think that's another pastor. Mm -hmm. No, it's a pastor with a big church. And people have their own thinking about pastor of big, big churches. churches. And, um, yeah. What is the... What would I say about that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> like I'll just say about the pastor with big church. Well, I'm not. Pastor, no, 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 no. I just even wanted to say something there. Okay. You know, okay. about, you know, you get, you know, you better when right. we hear that. You know, is that uh, you always say that? Well, you know, why do people? You know, they're laying emphasis on the fact that it's pastor with a church of how many thousands? Twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand. It's not the point. You know, the real point would be if they could be talking about a pastor with this kind of vision, which is the what is more important: people. transforming people and transforming them to go transform their Society. nation. That is the key. That's the real point. That's that the is difference. who Pastor Sunday, Sunday is. is. That's what makes the difference. It's not, not that about I the have number. Big church no, no, or no, small no, 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 that all, we are changing nations. At all, but that the church has a different, that it has vision, it has a different purpose, and, and that the church sees being in church and singing and doing everything as not being the end. That on the church. In the end, that the, this is just the purpose uh, of the church is to change the country. It's to change the country. That is what that's it's happening difference. in Ukraine. Yes, if you say Pastor Sonny Adelaide, I think that is what should ring a bell. You know, not the number of people in the church, but the fact that this is how church is done here. That a church is to the nation and that we all have responsibility to, 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 to transform the nation. Our nations. And that our call, when Jesus said, go disciple the nation, he's talking about actually going to touch disciple your nation. The whole to disciple the whole country. Not just, you know, to try and disciple share church tracks, members. Church members or share tracks on the street and hope that somebody will give, you know, be, will soul, someone's soul will be saved. It's not enough. What, but the question I really wanted to ask is, now that I have found this way, this means of communicating with people, mm -hmm. and this truth, this is the second week, you heard the first week, yes. you, are, you, you heard the second week, what do you think this, the importance of this kind of video broadcast that I'm doing, do you think it could make any difference or it's not worth it? Yeah, it's going to make great, great difference because I see Especially you sometimes, to people who cannot come here. Yes, I see you sometimes, you know, people come for retreats. They may be just 40 and you spend so much energy on yes. them. You're not saying because they are 40. You're yes. not saying because they're they are less. You spend yes. the whole weekend teaching them. So you have a chance to see people who 
who don't have access to you, who don't, I mean, any other access apart from this, and you're talking to 100 people at a time, you're talking to 200 people at a time, I think it's, it's, it's great, you know, and the 200 people are sharing with other people, I think it is great, especially because they are coming from diverse places, you know. We, we even never right had now, less than a thousand viewers we never had viewers you not see? had one you see at any point in time you know this this these people are in different areas that's different that's countries very diverse places places that and some of them are leaders on their own in which means that when you talk to one you know there's you know you, you, that per person can actually have influence over 500 and if he changes or he gains from this it is going to influence another 500 people i think it's it's a great thing indeed what about the content of the truth of the message itself? The content of this, because you know everybody have TV, Christian TVs in their homes, and they have preachers come on from morning to night, twenty four hour was, Christian TVs. Mm. What what do you think about the content of this kind of message that is coming? Is it just a repetition of what people are used to hearing, or do you think it has its own place? Oh, definitely, it has its own place. This is not repetition of what I mean. Many Christians are tuning away from these channels because we hear the same thing over and over. And not only that, we're hearing the same thing. Most of them are tainted towards self, towards uh, uh, money making rather than God. So already we're People getting tired. tired. They're mm -hmm. getting tired of what they're hearing and all that. Uh, this is fresh breath. I will thank God for it. This is good. I mean, uh, anything that fo shifts your focus away from uh, how can I just grab get for myself? Egocentrism, worship, egocentrism to you know God centeredness to people centeredness. I said I I love God and I love people. I I, I because I love God. I I show it to human beings. I think that's that settles it. That's what the church is called to do. And that's that's fresh. That's what that's the, the the message. Everything Jesus broke it down and said, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself." So everything, anything that you know, we can listen to right now that helps us to understand how to love God and how to serve humanity. That is fresh. That's what we need. That's what we need. Well, you know, uh, Sister Iriti, you have done a great job. I'm going to try to have your wife, I mean your husband, tomorrow <coughs> or day after tomorrow, and. Uh, Somebody is asking me, my sister here, uh, sister Pastor Lydia, Lydia or Laura Newo, is asking, who is this pretty, confident lady? <laughs> yeah, this is Ireti Ojekwa from Nigeria. She's here with her husband, and they have been following me, disciple of Pastor Sunday from Africa, and they are getting ready to go back and storm Africa with revolutionary yes, message. Yes. <laughs> yes. Andrew says, Amen, Amen. God's at the heart of everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Don Stephen says, We need action and demonstration of the word principles in everyday, everyday life. Mm -hmm. Monisha says, I believe that in united we stand and divided we fall. Samuel says, Yes, I have listened to for only uh, to you for only three days and the results are massive. Mm -hmm. Thank I have God. learned a lot from your teachings. Thank wow, God. only for three days, Thank I can't God. believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Don Stevens said, yes, it does. Yeah, these teachings does make a difference. Mm -hmm. Because I live in the USA and it has been a blessing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Julius says, I saw fire in this lady's eyes. Wow. <laughs> I can see doors opening by true principles that she has learned. Mm -hmm. And she has encountered these principles. Uh, and known too that I too can do it. Yes. Ladi Shorunke says, "Blessed with this, blessed with this message from Pastor Sunday Aniriti. Mm. Welcome." Thank you. Bishop Patrick says, "My sister, God's grace is available for you. Amen. Go and prosper. Amen. Nothing will stop you. Nothing. In Jesus' name." Amen. Sister Lola say, uh, uh, "Baba Oye, Baba Oye is, is saying, is greeting you." Samuel Thank is you. saying, "Pastor." Ah, uh, please build me, model me to change my country, Ghana. Uh, you just need to follow these messages. If you cannot come on live, go ahead and listen to the recorded messages. These messages are meant to mold you and form you to be able to change your world, your life, and your nation as well. Ola Dipo Lewis is, is here with us. Yetunde, uh, my sister, Awolesi. Looking forward to doing this, Pastor Sunday. Thanks again for the invite. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I invited her to be. She wants yes, to do like you. she has to come and see me in Ukraine. Oh, so she great. wants to be doing what you are doing. Oh, 
<laughs> and she wants to go with us to Nigeria yes, as well. Yes, yes, so yes, I hope yes. that she will be here one day mm. and I'll be doing such an interview with her as well. Mm. She's from England right now. Mm. Dada Kola Wale says, how are you, my sister? They are doing great. Well, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Don Stevens says, does age make a difference for one to begin this way? I would say so because you started at night. I started at 19, right? Yes, and then, um, oh, are you talking about old age? Yes. It doesn't matter like, how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. What you need to do again is to look. Is there someone who at this age started something or did something great? And you will find out that they are older, older, older age. age. Older that did something great. You know, you're going to find and out that And God use them. Yes. Principles. You just discover principles. Yes. Shoban cases, amen. Amen. Uh, Yetunde again says, oh my God, she's on fire for God. I can feel the anointing so strongly. It feels like heaven on earth. Good for you, Rachel. Thank you. Keisha, it says, amen. <laughs> Baby Daly says, I'm so blessed with this message. Mm. Samuel, he says, Pastor Sunday, give me links to download your e-books. I love your teachings. My email is that. that, that. Now, listen, Samuel. Go to my uh, website www.sundayadelajablog.com sundayadelajablog.com then you could download all my messages there you know you know articles even books you could download from there uh, and then uh, you could download my messages as well for free uh, okay stephanie is, is was living here oh, stephanie says Speak, madam. I'm in tears. <laughs> she, Stephanie used to stay in my house as oh. well. She's now a medical doctor in uh, in Germany. Okay. Yes. She, so on her way to Germany, she stayed in my house for a few months, I think. Mm. Yeah. Adegbite said he's, he's blessed. <clears throat> Emmanuel says he's powerful. Mm. Ibioma says, yes, we can. We can all make we a can. difference. Yes, we can. <laughs> Now, yet today says, get ready, Nigeria. We are coming. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are coming big we in God's strength, big. in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> yet Amen. today, God, the message. Mm. He's ready. Mm. <laughs> Kenneth Amobi said, Pastor, this topic is so powerful. Mm. It just took me back to the days of Moses and Pharaoh yeah. when he told Pharaoh to let my people go. Mm. Now is the time, right? Mm. In this are uh, what we need in all of our churches in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They should teach their members the truth. Yeah. I discovered that they just like crowd members to sit around the church or the, the church auditorium from Monday to Sunday without allowing their members to go out and pursue their dreams. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you need to take this message down home, please. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Kenneth, I want to tell you that, yes, you are right. You are speaking by the Spirit of God because the Lord has appeared to me. I had a visitation from, from God. I was having my retreat with God for two weeks, locked myself up in the room, and on the 14th day, Jesus walked into that room. And that was so glorious. Hallelujah. And what he did was he pointed at the wall and it was like the white board. Like you have blackboard, mm -hmm. but this was a white board. And point by point, it gave me 25 points and of what I'm supposed to go and do in Africa. And my mission is to make Nigeria the greatest Christian country in the world. Mm. And it's going to happen. And it's going we to are happen. going to transform that it's country. It's going to happen. It's going to it's happen. Dead, now. It's going to happen. I see it happening already. Sorry? I see it happening already. So everything I've done in Ukraine, God <laughs> told me, is my training ground. Yes. So I've done it happen. on a smaller scale here. But in Nigeria, yes. it's Oh, it's wow. going to happen. It's, it's going, going to, to happen. happen. We are coming big. Mm. Jesus' name. Amen. So, Pastor Sunday, Jola Yemi says, By God's grace, I use principles in the Bible to develop a knowledge innovation I call wisdom in 3D. I use it to create so many ideas, including a British sign language computer program mm. in my MSc. We Christians need to know, understand, mm. and use principles in the Bible to solve problems in mm. addition to praying and fasting. Mm. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wow. Mm. Pastor Sunday, Jolayemi, please, you can write me your inventions and I will put it on my blog. Mm. My blog is one of the most popular blogs in the world. Mm. I have 1,700,000 1, 1, people who are users of my blog, mm. who are readers of my blog. So, you know, come, you know, write me. My email is pastor at godembassy.org. Pastor at God Embassy.org. Embassy. Asanatu says, Amen. 
Uh, yesterday he says, Madam, you are right on point. Thank More you. grace to you. Thank you. Joanne says, yes, that is good. Uh, Justice says, you are right. People are still waiting for God to appear in the physical realm before mm. they could to move do to do anything. Mm. Why God is waiting on for us. Mm. Like Joe, he says, keep teaching, sister. Joanne Adouaye says, I'm getting blessed on this message. Really getting blessed. Purity is saying, yes, you are right, sir. La, la douche du sonnier says most men of god are not teaching the right principles mm -hmm. only interested in being celebrated why their members are in bondage that's mm -hmm. so sad we have to change that by the grace of god Amen. one of my daughters here julia musichenka says so much work to be done yes, so if much. i fail in something it's just because of my lack of knowledge mm -hmm. it's because i've done i've not done enough research mm -hmm. or poor research mm -hmm. or i've not worked enough mm -hmm. glory to god god is not to blame mm -hmm. i must be blamed mm -hmm. i must take responsibility mm -hmm. i must work harder mm -hmm. i must do more research research yes and get more knowledge and understand principles. Uh, purity says, I received this revelation about, pu about principles. Uh, Asanatu said, beautiful. You, madam, you are so beautiful. Then, but also thank you me. are just like your mentor. You are oh, a good mentee. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you are getting, you got the anointing of Pastor Sunday on you already. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, then uh, Amusha says, Amen, but Medele says, Wow, uh, Samuel says, Pastor Sunday, you are my mentor too. <laughs> Don Stephen says, Must I, must we must act now? And uh, Cynthia says, Praise God, hallelujah, God Amen. bless you. Samuel says, I receive it in Jesus' name, Amen. the principles to move on, yes. Uh, Baby, say, I too can. I too can. Yes, you can. Gloria said, this is powerful. Mm -hmm. Josiah says, religious bondages must be broken. Mm -hmm. Bami said, wow, this is a food for thought. Mm -hmm. La, La Joy says, why is there so much spiritual uh, abuse in the church? Well, that is why we must all take this message and go and share it. So I want to invite all of you right now. To share this message with as many people as possible is going to liberate a lot of people. Please take this message, go and uh, press the share button now. Let's press the share button right now and go and share it and make sure that as many people as possible watch it. It's going to set a lot of people free. Femi Pitan says, awesome teaching. Mm. Dom Steven says, powerful teaching. Mm. Peter Martin says, I feel the anointing, my God. <laughs> As an to say, revival in the church is well overdue. Yes. Every Christian must be ready for the shake-up in Jesus' name. Amen. We all have a part in this Christian army. Mm. And Stephanie says, this is Rema. Wow. Mm. Yet today to say, wow, religious bondage must be broken. Amen. Uh, Josiah says, I'm, I'm going to be applying principles right now. Mm. Don Stephen says, religious bondage must be broken. Kenneth Amobi says, "Is the unity of the church that we need in Nigeria. That's, that's when all this can work down home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Andrew says, there is nothing we seek to do that has been uncommon to man. Mm -hmm. There has been too much church for profit rather than building kingdom of God mm -hmm. and family. Mm -hmm. Apostle Migosi says, great people here. Uh, Don says, let's begin to apply spiritual principles. Martha says, Amen. Mm -hmm. Femi says, Amen. Stephen, Don Stephen says, we'll stop playing church. Samuel Dwarfo says, Africa should rise again. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed by your teachings. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, so many things have been written here. Yeah, so many things. I can't even write all of them now. But everybody is saying, we can too. We can change our nation. We believe, we believe God for that. Uh, Andrew, an Englishman, is saying, I'm blessed to know that this is not just 
being spoken in Africa or given to Africa or received in Africa. But out of it, there is an overflow to the rest of the world yes. and moves of God. And, uh, the, and the, the Spirit of God is moving to set people free from religious spirit mm. and set the captives free so that revival fire will break out. Mm. Vincent, Vincent is saying, Pastor, your words act like source of energy mm. to our broken spirit. Mm. We appreciate that. Thank you so much from South Africa. Mm. Uh, Emmanuel said, Thanks, Pastor. The level of being religious without experiencing revival in Nigeria is getting out of hand. Afiniki says, my, 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 just in two days, all I hear is principles. Mm. I am so blessed. Oh, Shijuwade you. says, amen, it's amen. going to happen in, uh, in Jesus' name. I pray amen. to be a part of it, mm -hmm. the change of Nigeria they're talking about. Yes. Lydia Olorani says, amen, Nigeria is going to be the greatest Christian nation in the world. Amen. 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 Wow, the yesterday say, Wow, awesome message! Amen, amen. amen. Akin Pelu says, A past, uh, pastor, this is life changing message. Mm. This I need to start now. Just simple words, I need to start with just this simple word principles. Mm. I'm really blessed. I know, I believe, I can do it too. Mm. <laughs> uh, Bose fine, says. How do I benefit from your mentorship program, sir, from Germany? My mentorship program is so easy to join. You just go to sundayadelajablog.com, sundayadelajablog.com, and you register for the mentorship and also register and subscribe for the newsletter. You just go to sundayadelajablog.com, you register for mentorship and newsletter. Monisha says, I trust in God and forever God first. God first. Without God first, there is no. It makes no sense. Make there is no sense doing anything great. Uh, okay. Well, we we are we are, we. Are, oh, somebody is writing here. Shijuade, Sister Ireti, I thank God for the determination in you with what you have received from Pastor. God will see you through. Amen. Be strong. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Keep the fire burning. We are here with you. Or uh, uh, you are going to have impact down here at home. Kenneth is saying. Amen. Thank you. Yes. And someone here. William Danderson. Yes, it does. I lis I listened to you just now. I got much. I, I was so blessed. I am Mr. William Danderson from Dar es Salaam. Wow. Salutation from Ethiopia. Okay, he's greeting us. Yemit to Ajile. Please, I'm enjoying this live broadcast. Please give me time for the live broadcast, weekly and daily. No, it is not weekly, it is daily. This live broadcast is daily, two times daily, actually. Mm. The evening one is at this time, every evening. Mm. That is like. Nice. Uh, nine o'clock ukraine time uh, and that is uh, seven p.m english time seven p.m nigerian time in the evening uh, but also i come on every morning morning time is 9 30 in the morning ukraine time that is 7 30 a.m british time 7 30 a.m nigerian time and 8 30 a.m uh, central european time and american time eastern time is 2 30 a.m in the morning and uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon so it's every day and then you could go to my facebook page to the video section and vi see all the recordings from there and also go or you could go to my facebook page and listen to all the messages as well it's sunday at the larger official uh <laughs> henry says enjoying your program live from the kingdom of wonders keep it up uh, Lydia says, after I introduced you, she said, wow, you are so welcome, dear sister. We are coming to, to yeah, Nigeria. We're, we're <laughs> okay, Samuel says, principles are shortcut to success. Well, so I'll be uh, waiting to see you people tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we have it twice daily. 
that poor Nanuga said, I'm so blessed. I will put everything I had from the message into my day to day life. Amen. Thank you. To hear me today, say, Pastor, do you still come to New York for the Saturday training? No, not anymore. So you've got to keep on following me now by internet. Maxim says, I'm not a Nigerian, but African from Rwanda, mm. but I certainly believe that it will happen. Dear Pastor Sanda Dilaja, we love you. We mm. wish you could come back to Rwanda, Kigali. <laughs> thank you so much. Mm. Uh, everybody wants me to come everywhere, but thank God I'm here. May God keep increasing you in your knowledge. Thank you. Teresa says, when the church stands up for what is, it should be, then we will be able to see multitude come to the house of God. Mm. We need to walk in love. Mm. Yes. Wow. Well, thank you everybody. And it's been great that we, that you people are part of this. And I hope that you'll be there tomorrow morning. I'll continue this series of Life Greatest Secret. And uh, tomorrow evening too, we'll be back with you. And uh, let's hear what Irete will say to say bye-bye to our friends. Yes, I just want to say, keep it in mind, you can, I can, we all can, so we should get up and get ready to do whatever it is God has placed in our heart for so long that we've been hesitating about. Let's just get out there and do what we need to do. The whole world is waiting for us. You can, I can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, Sijuade Mojirade says, I've been part of mentorship since last year, but I was unable to forward my test for the exam. Okay, can you write us email? Write an email to the email of the mentorship uh, email. Or you could write to my own email. Uh, I, I didn't put it on myself. Uh, I, maybe you could write it to my own email at pastors at godembassy.org. Or you could write to the mentorship email that you have. And, uh, you know, we'll be, do something about it. Okay, thank you, everybody. It's nice being with you. Tomorrow morning, 9.30, I will be right there as usual. And then tomorrow evening at 9. Two hours a day, I come on just to be able to give. As I have so many things to, 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 to give to the world. I have so much in me. I need to be coming out. I, I won't feel like coming out three times a day. But just I, my schedule will not allow me. But two times a day, you could get as much as you want. Especially if you are really hungry and desperate. And we thank God for Sister Iriti today. Nigeria, get ready. Get we are ready. coming. Yeah, we're coming. We are coming. God bless you all. Bye. Good night.